I am continuing my reading. What I'm doing in this series is to read through the entire standard works of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This consists of the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. I am reading in a chronological order of events, not according to publication or volume, so I will be skipping around a bit as I move along. We continue in Alma again. We are now in the missionary efforts among the Zoramites. We read chapter 31, which was a description of the Zoramites and their apostate religion, and Alma's dedicatory prayer dedicating their missionary efforts to the Lord. We pick it up in chapter 32. Now again, it's a little bit long, so I will read the first 20 verses in this video. Alma teaches the poor whose afflictions had humbled them. Faith is a hope in that which is not seen, which is true. Alma testifies that angels minister to men, women, and children. Alma compares the word unto a seed. It must be planted and nourished. Then it grows into a tree from which the fruit of eternal life is picked. And it came to pass that they did go forth and began to preach the word of God unto the people, entering into their synagogues and into their houses. Yea, and even they did preach the word in their streets. And it came to pass that after much labor among them, they began to have success among the poor class of the people. For behold, they were cast out of the synagogues because of the coarseness of their apparel. Therefore they were not permitted to enter into the synagogues to worship God, being esteemed as filthiness. Therefore they were poor, yea, they were esteemed by their brethren as dross. Therefore they were poor as to the things of the world, and also they were poor in heart. Now as Alma was teaching and speaking unto the people upon the hill Oneida, there came a great multitude unto him, who were those of whom we have been speaking, of whom were poor in heart, because of their poverty as to the things of the world. And they came unto Alma, and the one who was the foremost among them said unto him, Behold! What shall these, my brethren, do? For they are despised of all men because of their poverty. Yea, and more especially by our priests. For they have cast us out of our synagogues, which we have labored abundantly to build with our own hands. And they have cast us out because of our exceeding poverty, and we have no place to worship our God. And behold, what shall we do? And now when Alma heard this, he turned him about, his face immediately towards him. And he beheld with great joy, for he beheld that their afflictions had truly humbled them and that they were in a preparation to hear the word. Therefore he did say no more to the other multitude, but he stretched forth his hand and cried unto those whom he beheld, who were truly penitent, and said unto them, I behold that ye are lowly in heart, and if so, blessed are ye. Behold, my brother hath said, What shall we do? For we are cast out of our synagogues, that we cannot worship our God. Behold, I say unto you, Do ye suppose that ye cannot worship God, save it be in your synagogues only? And moreover, I would ask, do ye suppose that ye must not worship God only once in a week? I say unto you, it is well that ye are cast out of your synagogues, that ye may be humble, and that ye may learn wisdom, for it is necessary that ye should learn wisdom. For it is because that ye are cast out, that ye are despised of your brethren, because of your exceeding poverty, that ye are brought to a lowliness of heart, for ye are necessarily brought to be humble. And now, because ye are compelled to be humble, blessed are ye. For a man sometimes, if he is compelled to be humble, seeketh repentance. And now, surely, whosoever repenteth shall find mercy. And he that findeth mercy and endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. And now, as I said unto you, that because ye were compelled to be humble, ye are, were blessed. Do ye not suppose that they are more blessed who truly humble themselves because of the word? Yea, he that truly humbleth himself and repenteth of his sins and endureth to the end, the same shall be blessed. Yea, much more blessed than they who are compelled to be humble because of their exceeding poverty. Therefore, blessed are they who humble themselves without being compelled to be humble. Or rather, in other words, blessed is he that believeth in the word of God and is baptized without stubbornness of heart. Yea, without being brought to know the word or even compelled to know before they will believe. Yea, there are many who do say, If thou wilt show unto us a sign from heaven, then we shall know of a surety, then we shall believe. Now I ask, is this faith? Behold, I say unto you, Nay. For if a man knoweth a thing, he hath no cause to believe, for he knoweth it. And now, how much more <clears throat> and now, how much more cursed is he that knoweth the will of God, and doeth it not, than he that only believeth, or only hath cause to believe, and falleth into transgression? Now of this thing ye must judge. Behold, I say unto you, that it is on the one hand, even as it is on the other, and it shall be unto every man according to his work. 
Those who are compelled to be humble. Now, here we get some more insight into the culture of the Zoramites. First of all, these poor, wretched people here, they helped build the synagogues. So they've been here from the beginning. These aren't people who moved into the area. They were followers of Zoram. And they came into the land. They helped build all the churches, all the synagogues. But they didn't bring a lot of money with them, apparently. And the priests and the teachers and the leaders, they were the ones that had money. They, they brought all these people with them. But it seems to me that they had no intention of having them be equal. They just kind of flattered them with, you know, come over here. We're all elect. We're all the chosen of God. But once they were there, they were kicked out because the leaders have their hearts set on money. Gold and silver. And when they go to worship, they don't want to look at somebody who doesn't radiate that opulence who doesn't have the same luxury that they do. But notice Alma's teaching here. It's great that you're humble. It's great that you're coming back and you're seeking the truth. But don't think that because you're forced to, that those who aren't forced to aren't in a better position. You may be, if you repent, God's going to accept you. No problem. And you will have the same blessings as anybody else. But those who are not compelled have a stronger faith. Those who are not being pushed into it, they have the better faith. And he states correctly there that if you know, if you wait until you know, it doesn't give you any stronger faith, but it does mean that if you fall away, then you will receive the greater condemnation. Faith and knowledge are not the same thing. One is greater than the other. And when you rebel against the greater, you get the greater condemnation. On a final note, I do find it interesting that the Alma has his most success among the poor, the ones who are cast out and are compelled to be humble. But it says he was already preaching to another multitude when they came. When the poor came and started asking questions, he already had another multitude he was preaching to, but he turned away from them. He said, okay, I'm done with you. I'm going to teach these guys now. And it seems to me that when we look at it, this multitude was probably not receptive to the word. They were listening. He was a street preacher, you might say. He was standing on the street corner. He was preaching. He was actually up on the hill, probably just outside of town. And he had a lot of people passing by or coming out to see the lunatic. And some people were listening, but the majority of people didn't seem to be receptive. So when this other group comes, Alma says, okay, you're not listening to me over here, so I'm going to go teach these guys. I wonder how many people in that first crowd, in that first multitude, eventually did repent. But we leave that here, and we will read the rest of this chapter, most of it about faith, in the next video. So I will see you there.